Hello and welcome to another VR Easy tutorial video. In this video we're going to cover how to set up and configure the generic camera rig prefab that ships with VR Easy. A generic camera rig is a cross-platform object that allows you to integrate head display and hand controllers onto your VR scenes and it is compatible with Oculus, HTC Vive and all other OpenVR uh, devices supported by Unity. The great thing about this is that you won't have to ha uh, need the SDK from either Oculus or HTC Vive to uh, operate with either the head display or the hand controllers. All of that will be handled by VR Easy internally. You can still, of course, use the SDKs, the proprietary ones, uh, but the generic camera rig allows you uh, to have a cross-platform setup of all your scenes without having uh, to reconfigure them when you deploy your projects to different um, uh, devices. So we're going to cover several things. Um, the first thing, we're going to uh, learn how to set up a pointer selector so you can interact with VR Easy objects. We're also going to set up a locomotion, uh, simple locomotion system with physical properties such as gravity. Um, we're also going to configure a teleport controller so you can move around your scene. Okay. So uh, we're gonna uh, work on the uh, demo scene, the uh, VR Easy sandbox demo scene that ships with VR Easy, and we're gonna try to uh, recreate the generic camera rig from scratch. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, remove the camera rig and on we go to reconfigure it. So the first thing we do want to do is uh, find the prefab generic camera rig, just drag and drop it into your scene. So as soon as you do this, uh, I'm going to just uh, place it somewhere in the scene and we're going to see how straight off the bat should be able to uh, use your hand, uh, your controller. In this case, I'm using HTC Vive, but it would also uh, work uh, straight off the bat with Oculus Touch or other uh, con uh, controllers. And you also have the head mount display set up and ready to go just by driving that drop. So that's pretty much it to uh, set up the initial uh, generic camera rig. But of course, we wanted to have we are easy to activate interactivity, so for that we need to uh, set the selectors and uh, we would also like to move around the scene, so we're going to set up the locomotion uh, with physical properties. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is going to set up a pointer selector just as we do with uh, um, any other um, uh, prefab, but in this case uh, we're going to use the generic camera rig. So if we open the, in the hierarchy, uh, hierarchy the generic camera rig, we'll see the right and the left controller objects already set up. Uh, so at the moment, all they do is position the controller in the scene, but we want them to be able to select things in VR Easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure them as pointer selectors. And we're just going to use the right controller, so drag and drop, just as we normally do, and add pointer selector. And that's pretty much uh, it. All we have to do is uh, figure what trigger, what is it that is going to trigger the selectability, the pointer, and we're going to use the generic controller trigger. So with the generic controller trigger you don't have to have any other SDKs, you could of course use the, either the Steam or the Oculus uh, controller triggers, but you would need the SDKs uh, for interactivity. In our case, we link it, don't need that. So we select the right controller in the scene. Uh, we can see that at the moment we can configure what is the button that we want to use. And in our case, because we're using the Steam VR controller, we would want uh, to use the trackpad touch as the um, as a trigger for the selectivity. So we hit a play. Uh, let's test this quickly. There it goes. Touching. And now we have the interactivity there, so we can just interact with our 
projects. There we go. Okay, so the second thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the log function, the general log function. So for that, we're going to go to the parent object, which is Eric Kevin Rig. We're going to add our VR simple log function uh, script to it, and uh, there we're going to configure it through the GUI. So the head uh, should be configured as the head object. Uh, and we want to move around, we don't want to rotate, we don't want to, uh, so we uh, leave these options as they are at the input type, again, because we want to use the generic uh, VR controller, which is going to select the generic VR controller, and this is configured at that moment uh, to use the trackpad uh, movement as uh, uh, to, to map the movement of your object. So hit play, you should be able to see that when uh, we press on the, or we touch the trackpad, we move around. Of course, we, we see that when we're moving, uh, the point selector is uh, being activated, so we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the rack controller and uh, change the trigger. So instead of saying trackpad touch, what we're going to do is trackpad press. So we distinguish between moving and pressing. Okay. So we have when we touch the trackpad, we move around, and then we when we press, trackpad we have the selection. Okay, so that's two things already completed. Uh, and the last thing we want to configure, oh sorry, before we move on to the uh, teleport controller, uh, we want to mention a new feature of the uh, simple locomotion script and it is the ability to add physical properties to your uh, player. So things like gravity and being able to move upstairs and upstairs etc. Um, so uh, for that we use the physical engine from Unity and we use AI rigid bodies and colliders. So what we have to do is go to the VR uh, FPS uh, log motion script and add a rigid body to your game object. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So we see in the editor that we have been added a collider. So we have now a collider for our, uh, for our player, and we also have a rigid body. So by default, they, uh, they use gravity, but we can disable it if that's not appropriate for your uh, object, for your scene. Um, and then to prove that it works, we're just going to set the player a little higher on the scene. Uh, so we're going to press play, and you can see how we've drop down, we have now physical properties, we can still move around. So that's great. Um, so the, the last thing to do is configure the teleport controller, uh, as we said. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the right uh, controller as well, uh, similar to what uh, other uh, VR uh, experiences use in the teleporting uh, action. We're going to use the right controller to um, control that uh, teleporting. And what it does internally, it just throws a parable when you activate the teleport controller. And whenever it hits the ground, then uh, you have the option to, to move or transport yourself uh, to that location. So what we have to do is uh, go to the uh, right controller and add teleport controller script. Uh, we can select uh, the fading type, so this is to avoid motion sickness, uh, to avoid instant teleportation, it's a good idea to have a fade, a fade out time, uh, so the screen goes a little darker uh, just before you te get teleported. Uh, and then we select uh, the HMD pairing object. HMD pairing object is the generic camera rig, so that's the object that we want to transport, the, the object that represents our entire player, head, hands, controllers, etc. Um, and um, so you can, in fact, uh, I, I've set up the HMD parent object through the teleport settings. You can also do it through the teleport controller. Um, settings so HMD parent object camera rig. Uh, either way, it'll end up uh, as the right uh, uh, option. Um, then 
you have a multiple options that I'll let you play with, um, but the, the one that we do have to set is the trigger, uh, just as uh, any other um, selector, for instance, the pointer selector, then we need a, uh, a button that activates the uh, tip of rotation, or in this case, the selection. So here we have also that option. So again, you could use the Oculus controller buttons or the Steam controller buttons, but for that, you would need the SDK. In our case, you could use the generic controller trigger, that it's an umbrella or an interface for all those uh, SDKs and it does not need um, those SDKs being imported. So we link it, and once it's linked, uh, we can um, configure it. So uh, we go to the generic controller trigger that has been added, and we can configure it. In our case, I think we're going to use the trigger touch uh, for the teleportation, and we can use any other. Because we're using the Steam VR uh, right controller, I think that one we use. If you wanted to use uh, any of the Oculus, you can also do so. All right. So if we hit play, and our scene, uh, we should be able now to there he goes to teleport anywhere. There he goes. We can still move around our scene, uh, but now we can uh, by pressing the trigger. We can also move around. Uh, of course, if you select valid areas, it won't allow you to go out of your scene. So it's a thing, uh, but you still can move around close range, long range, etc. Okay, so that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and it's been informative. So thank you and until the next time. Bye.